All right, welcome back to Blackacre Ranch, everybody. Today we're actually doing this alleyway, okay? Enough excuses, it's butt cold, so why not go ahead and do this in the cold? Anyway, we're working this alleyway. We're gonna put the, the 10 gauge sheet metal up. I've already started it. Let's fill you in on some details, so stick with us. Here's the alleyway that we've got. And I have started it, as I mentioned before. That's because, first of all, I just wanna make sure I knew what I was doing, and second of all, just to get going on this crap so it's not taking forever. But, this is what's going on. So this alleyway is like 10 feet and a half, 10 and a half feet long. So when they come through here, we're gonna stop and just put them in here, and this is their one single isolation waiting period, okay? So I had, if you knew from before, I wanted to make this out of wood, right? Put some angle iron, drill the wood, and just put it all in there and I'm starting to price things out and everything. Wood would be cheaper. Um, I think it was gonna be like $100, $200 cheaper, something like that. I think manpower wise, it just would have taken too much time. So I went with sheet metal, you saw us in the last episode or two, getting all that moved. That is way butt heavy, man. Holy cow, way heavy. Wasn't expecting that. Um, so I swear there'll be no buffalo that ever breaks through from that, okay? It's just not gonna happen. Anyway. So really what we're just doing is putting a top and bottom rail, conventional kind of stuff, and they are 48 inches apart, all right? We're just gonna put a sheet here, we're gonna cut the sheet, and then it's actually gonna be recessed. Why don't you come on over here? So these are not the same as this. This is a three inch tube or pipe. These are two inch schedule 40, okay? When I put sheet metal in here, if I used a three inch, one, I didn't want to because it's heavy, it's big. I just didn't want to have to do, I just, do I really need three inch? No. So I used a two inch, um, but the advantage of this is when the sheet metal comes up, it'll fit and it'll butt up along the inside edge of the actual pipe. So my hope and my goal is that as a buffalo is coming in and rubbing, it doesn't protrude out to the front face where they could grab and actually cut themselves or other things like that. So I left it so that way I could recess it a little bit in. So that was my thought. So I'm using, like I said, two inch schedule 40. We just started with this piece. We started on one spot. We took this pink line, went across, picked a height that we wanted. I put it 11 inches to the bottom and then went up another 48 inches and we marked a line with my trusty ill-sized, this is for two and seven eighths, but it works, and uh, marked a line. So that way I know that when I put this to the, at the bottom and the bottom over there, they're 48 inches. So this is 48, this is 48, and we're just kind of working our way down. So that's really what's going on here because we're gonna have to prep for the sheet metal cuts. So I've left a couple of these things for you guys to see us do. I'm not saying it's perfect great, but I'm just tacking these things up and I have to do them on sides because these guys are not connected. They're all independent. Now these guys can be, but uh, these guys weren't. So anyway, we've got the first one down here on the bottom. I'm gonna show you now how we cut and measure for the second ones. And uh, it's actually not that bad, to be honest. Before we begin with showing you what I was doing, Obviously I have this railing here and this is like a rookie mistake and this is just something I, I knew about but I forgot to do it when I got here. We start, started throwing up stuff. This is where we started. If I was smart, as you notice, I had to cut that guy and I had to cut the guy on the bottom. <clears throat> if I was smart, I would have done this side first and spaced them to make sure that I didn't have to cut anything. So um, I would have put this maybe a couple of inches further down. This would have been down to here. I would have left these all rails the same. No big deal. But sometimes you live and learn and you forget. So <clears throat> I will have to come back at some point and find a remedy for these. Um, I don't know, I might just use some flat bar or something. I don't know, that's another day. All right, so let's get back to the tubing. This is three inches long and it's been accurate the last seven times. So I really come up to here and I get 62 and 7 eighths. So because I have three inches, that's 65 and 7 eighths. Okay, so 65 
and seven eighths is what I came out to be. Now, this stuff, I have to cope it around these three inch pipes and it doesn't, it's only two inch. So what I had done is I actually went up to the pipe on there and I held this across at two inches, put the inch in the center of the, the vertical post and kind of guessed how much gap there was over here, okay? Rudimentary, non, I don't know if there's a better way, I, I don't know. So I figured out there's approximately, give or take a quarter. So what I do is I take the measurement and because the wings, the flaps have to extend around the sides of the post, I add a quarter inch and I add a quarter inch. So that means I add a half inch to the total measurement that allows my little wing flappies to go around the sides. So if that didn't make any sense, I don't know, it worked. So 65 and 7 eighths plus a half inch would be 66 and 3 eighths. Sixty-six and three-eighths. All right, so what I got actually to cut these things with all the tops of the pipes. All the pipes here in the handling facility are varied sizes. They were crudely cut with a hot torch or something like that. They're all nasty. So I got myself one of these suckers, man. This actually cuts really well. And uh, this one's huge. And the reason I got the big one was because these posts are three inches. You know, they're not two inches. So I didn't want a smaller one. I wanted to make sure I had enough room to be able to get in there and cut what I needed to. So, <clears throat> like most things, you can't force it, but when it starts going, it does its job. And that's as easy as it is. So now we're gonna mark it and get our little wing things created, whatever they're called, I don't know. All right, so one of the things that you've got to make sure is when you're doing these copings is that your little flangey wingy thingies are the same orientation on each end, right? This is so not like the professional terms that you might want to know, right? This isn't textbook. So on the pipe, if you come over here, <clears throat> it does have a smooth ridge when it was formed it's not a ridge, it's just a, a color thing that goes all the way down the pipe. So whenever I do my marking for my little wingy thingies, I'm gonna mark it right along that ridge and then I make my cut inward to make my little wingies. So I'm coming in that quarter inch on either side because that should be to the other inside bit on the other end of the pipe, the 66 and 7 eighths. 65 and 7 eighths, whatever. It was whatever that measurement we just talked about. And because I'm just gonna burn an inch and three quarters, she's gonna mark the two. Just cause it's harder to see all the little numbers or the little lines at the very end of the tape. welder would use a vice. <laughs> I'm not a real welder man. So we're gonna use a tape measure and measure 48 inches from the bottom there. Come up, put a line and match it over here and verify that it matches the line on this side just to make sure that it's 48 inches because I don't want to have any issues with that sheet metal. Still haven't figured out how to put it up yet. So here pumpkin mark 48. All right, so on this side, it'll be the top of the pole or the, the rail. And this side, we're gonna have to mark 48. And this will actually be 
the top as well. So Mari, you want to mark 48? Okay, so the ground actually does have some contour up a little bit, so I'm not really worried about it. We'll just wipe off that other mark. Now we're going to be 48 from this bottom guy. Let's see if this all fits. And because I have a serious tennis elbow going on, it kills me. My daughter gets to hammer these things down. And just to make sure it holds, no we're gonna do that while we adjust the other side. Oh, okay, it's not too fast. There. All right. Yeah, I'll suck on that one for a while. Now we're gonna make sure that it's 48. And it's 48 to the top. And it's 48 to the top, right there. So at this point, it's a matter we tack it. Now, I'll tell you, you know, I was not the professional welder. Every time I think I tack, and I'm gonna go to tack, and I'm all, I'm tacking, right? I start, and I get carried away, I'm like, wow, this bead is looking really good. Or I've got a nice puddle here, let's just keep going. So my tacks are like almost my full weld, but one of those things where you just get carried away and you just gotta keep going. So, all, you know, they're all tacked up now. I just need to go through and just do a final pass kind of on some of them. I'm not going to try and get like perfection all the way around. Um, when the buffalo are in here, they're not ramming dead on on the side. They'll push, they'll kick, they'll do some stuff like that. But this stuff is going to be pretty strong, and especially when I put all the sheet metal up. So I'm not just going to go through, touch up and weld up as much as I can around the sides. And I'll probably just not get down here. I'm not, not that experienced to get the bottom sides. But I'll try and do the top halves for sure and wrap some around the bottom if I can. Things, there's a gap here and sometimes it's big enough that I can't I can't bridge the gap in one pass so what I do is just, I just try and fill it as much as I can on the back side and then come back in and then mix it back into this guy this will still burn through quicker than this will and I've got this setting set down pretty far for railing especially I thought a six a schedule 40 pipe wouldn't have burned through so bad but it'll it'll burn through so let's see if this works So I've got some, this wasn't pretty, right? Nothing's ever pretty. But I've got some extra stuff here. Now I can blend this all kind of in and fill in that gap. I hope you don't come to my channel to actually learn how to weld. If you do, go to Austin Ross's channel. He'll teach you more how to weld. I'm amateur. I 
like I said, it'll fill it in, but it's not pretty. done here is just samples of some of the welds we haven't cleaned these things off yet and they're ugly but they do their job I won't give you any kind of analogy here but in fact that one might have a little gap I might need to touch that one up but otherwise they are all done next step is I'm going to finish this guy so this is going to be a pressured spot I'm going to need to do the exact same thing over here on this side so I'm going to get those things done off camera I'll come back to you when I've got those things set up before I start doing the uh, sheet metal. All right, this side is done. I think this looks pretty sexy. It's all good. So now what we have to do is we have to put up that sheeting and I will, in case you are wondering, maybe make a vertical support or a horizontal, I don't know, one of the two. I might just do vertical since they're all about 48 and um, bolster up, but I'm gonna get the sheeting up first and then I'll put that up. Wait, wait. Nice and flush. Yeah. Let's drop it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just wiggling it. Deck, weld, I don't know, whatever it is. <laughs> Stick it. That's what I just heard. Yeah, hopefully the last one.
right guys, we got it all done. So last night we finished this all when it was like pitch black, headlamps, other things like that. So this is finally all welded together. We've got the outside part of the alley here on the left right hand side. Um, let me show it to you. And um, it's, I will say it's, it's generally welded. I haven't grinded it, you know, welder and paint or grinder and paint make a welder you ain't, that kind of stuff. But it is up, this is the only panel here you hear that dee -dee 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 -ding? that kind of a thing I think it's up here at the top like I'd like to put another one right here but anyway let's show this to you and uh, go from there all right so right hand side we got it right here this is it got those two panels welded up they will come right up into here for the squeeze open the gate and there's your alleyway guys everything's all up in here Everything's up. Now this isn't exactly everything I'd like. There is, we have tacked certain spots. I gotta come back with a grinder. Um, we've done generally about four tacks a side. Again, this isn't gonna like probably hold the world here, but it is gonna go ahead and take care of everything. So well, I think I'll come back at some point and put a rebar across here. I just, we tried cutting and it was never gonna work it. So we just lifted it up. So it's just shy or flush with the top of the pipe and uh, it'll be an annoying thing, but um, don't climb. And you won't have to worry about it, right Buffalo? All right, all right, so welds of course, like I said, gotta come back, but uh, everything is tacked on and so far looking pretty good. Let's go on this back side here. All right, so let's look on the back side over here. We'll see that, of course, we are gapped a little bit at the bottom. Um, on either side of the post, that's where the, the panel came up and flushed up. So it is still recessed, not as much, just because we're not perfect with our cutting. My daughter Sandra went ahead and did all of it, but we tacked on the back side, on the bottom especially. Um, and then on the top, these are some of the, the tacks like that. So anyway pretty substantial these things were up so task is done the complete alley is not done because i want to come back and i think i want to put a vertical support across all of these and then i still need to get the bridged across supports up top but the task of putting all this sheet metal up is done so i'm going to wrap the video up here guys we're kind of out of time this is obviously the third day um more time than you want to go ahead and do it. Anyway, thanks for joining along, guys. Like and subscribe. Keep with us as we finalize all this stuff as much as we can because we're going to be working the Buffalo upcoming and um, go from there. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh.